All right, that was an exciting example of putting Cloudera Flash into action from Jason at Mac Stadium. I've asked Eric from IDC to join me one more time here at the Lightboard to now pop up one level, and let's look at the overall market for Cloudera Flash. You've now heard what Pure's doing, but let's look at the broader context of others that might be coming up with solutions in this space. So at Pure, we like to think about the data universe in a very simple abstracted triangle, where the world is split into structured and unstructured data use cases. Structured tend to be block-type use cases like VMs and databases. Unstructured tends to be things like analytics and big data and backup and archive. And typically, as you go up this triangle, you increase in the needs of performance. Things like latency and IOPS. As you go down, you tend to have a need to reduce the cost per gigabyte. And as you go to the right, you see higher and higher scale and capacity of storage solutions for those types of workloads. And so much of the flash industry to date, and in fact, pure storage with our Flash OEM product, have really been focused at this structured environment, serving VMs, serving databases and applications. So the interesting thing though, as we look at this next generation, the cloud is having us expand workloads. And so we see a world where this triangle really expands off to the right. And a new set of capabilities and workloads around high performance block stores, file stores, and object stores designed for web scale applications emerges. And so I wanted to ask Eric now to give us a little bit of a sense of what else is popping up in the market to serve these new cloud era needs. You bet. So this drawing actually corresponds very closely to IDC's all flash array taxonomy. When the market started back in 2011, all of the systems being sold were in this area. Primary flash is what we call that. As people became more familiar with the benefits that flash brings, not only performance, but also across a number of other areas, they wanted to be able to leverage those benefits across additional types of workflows and workloads. So what we've seen actually in the last year in particular is the emergence of two new all flash array segments that will accommodate unstructured data sets as well as structured, which is sort of what the original market was here. So the first of these emerging markets is what IDC calls the big data flash market. And these are systems that are not necessarily optimized so much for low latency like you see with the primary flash, but more for cost efficient operation at scale. So high storage density, low power consumption, ability to support extremely large capacities to handle the large data sets that are required by these types of workloads. And in this area, we've also seen some systems get introduced that push the performance limit a bit to handle some of the scientific and big data analytics workloads. And those systems in particular have been architected to handle extremely high degrees of concurrency. Now the other area we see emerging is a much smaller segment that we call rack scale flash. And these are end to end NVMe systems that deliver the highest levels of performance available from existing technologies. Now there are only a very small number of workloads that require this kind of performance today, but clearly the market over the course of the next several years will be moving up in that direction. Now just to give you a sense for the relative scale here, there are probably less than 40 production rack scale systems deployed today. So this is a relatively small market. This is a much larger market segment there. We've got four vendors shipping products in this arena, and we also have four vendors shipping products there. Whereas in this space, we have more than 20 vendors that are shipping primary flash products. All right, thanks Eric. And just to give you a sense for pure strategy in this space, now we obviously have two products playing in this next generation cloud era flash landscape. So last year we introduced FlashBlade, our unstructured product, to go after this big data and increasingly cloud era set of workloads. And then with the new FlashRayX announcement, that allows us to really push higher and higher into the block environment for workloads that require the highest level of performance. And next year, as we bring out MVMover Fabric front-end connectivity, we'll be able to push even higher into that triangle. So hopefully this gives you a sense for the broader market for cloud era Flash where Pure fits in it, and what I think is going to be a pretty exciting decade of innovation from us and probably many vendors out there. So Eric, first off, thank you so much for being here today. You bet. Thank you, Kix, for having me. And just for the final word, we're going to kick back to the main stage to have Jason wrap us up. Thank you, Eric and Matt. Today, we introduced a next generation all flash array, the 100% NVMe enterprise class Flash Array X, powered by the world's first software-defined flash module. FlashRay X delivers massive gains in performance and couples that with rich data services and optimizes the economics for mainstream tier one deployments. 
with Flash Array X for once again democratizing all Flash for everyone, this time with NVMe. And of course, we're doing it in an evergreen, non-disruptive, and investment-protected manner. When we bring it all together, we're delivering a data platform that is broad and deep, so you can benefit from it anywhere for any workload. Our data platform is purpose-built for the cloud era, and it's ready to help you put your data to work. Imagine, this is all you need. And that's it. It's been a lot of fun, and we hope you enjoyed the event. To get the inside scoop on our next big announcements, please join us at Accelerate. We hope to see you there.